Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. My pineapple plants are now two years old and they continue to grow successfully. I started my pineapple plants from the tops of organic fresh pineapples. Check the card above for my playlist on how to start and grow and grow pineapple plants in zone 5b in the northern climates. My pineapple plants are growing in containers and believe it or not pineapple plants is one of the few tropical fruits that are well adapted to planting in containers with drainage holes. I have repotted all three of these pineapple plants at least three times since the beginning of starting my pineapple plants. Now I am growing them outdoors during the summer months and I have been doing this for the past two years, but I do bring them indoors during the cold or winter months. I bring them in when the temperatures are predicted to go below the 40s. Now I did make one mistake and um, I put them out this year and you can kind of see where the leaves right here are kind of dark. I got a little anxious and I um, didn't make sure that the nighttime temperatures were staying above 50 degrees and the, the, the pineapple did suffer a little bit, but that was an error on my part. I need to be a little more patient when I put these pineapple plants out. But you wanna make sure that when you do put them out, you're putting them out when there's when they're at least when the, the nighttime temperature is at least 50 degrees or um, or above, um, the optimum temperature for pineapple growth range between 68 degrees and 86 degrees. When growing indoors, give them plenty of light, natural light or grow light. I'm growing my pineapple plant in moderately fertile, sandy, loamy soil as this is the soil they grow best in. You want to keep the soil moist, but not soggy. Pineapple plants can take up to two to three years before flowering. Therefore, I am considering inducing flower on this large pineapple plant. Now this pineapple plant is my largest pineapple plant and it is now two years old as of September. So as a result of it, I am going to go ahead and try to induce fruit on this particular pineapple plant. Re you want to remove the developing slips and suckers, uh, which will enhance the rate of growth. See, if you could see on this particular plant, I had little pups over here and I did not remove those pups. So as a result, the rate of growth is really slow. If you notice that this plant is bigger, this plant has two plants in it. And it, it, it's, it's the second biggest. And then this one is growing a lot slower. And they all started at the same time. So my tip is remove the developing slips and suckers so you can enhance the rate of growth on your pineapple plant and reduce the time it takes to become a large enough to induce flowering and produce large fruits like this one. Now research has shown that the larger the pineapple plant is when it, when it flowers, the larger the potential fruit produced since small plants will produce smaller pineapple plants. So I'm not going to induce flowering on this plant or this plant, but I am going to induce flowering on this plant because it is mature, two years old, and it's large. Eth ethylene gas is known to induce flowering. Apples give off an ethylene as they decay. So I'm going to be putting, placing a decaying apple right in the center of this plant, and I will cover it with a plastic bag around the plant 
where it's completely airtight. That way the ethylene gas will be trapped and I will leave the apple in the bag for approximately 40 days to allow it to release gas. And I am going to do a video update on whether I'm going to be able to get a fruit on this plant that I'm going to induce. So I just wanted to give you an update on how successfully my plant's been growing for the past two years. Some tips on making sure you're removing the pups off your plants when you first uh, when they first start growing so you don't run into a situation like this where it's growing slow but it is healthy this is just one plant you can see how much bigger it is this one has two plants in it and then it's, the rate of growth is slow so um, when I bring the plant in during the winter months which I'm thinking boy Next week, they're talking about the low temperatures being in the 30s. So more than likely, I'm, have to, I'm gonna have to bring it in. However, if the temperatures continue to be below 50 degrees, moving into the end of September, I will have to bring them in. Now, these plants are gotten, gotten so much bigger and I will no longer be able to put them in front of the windows anymore. So this plant here is gonna have to go under my grow light and this plant will have to also go, grow, go under my grow light. I will put this plant back in the window that it's been used to over the past two years. And then I will start trying to induce flowering on this plant. So if you don't, if you think, if you don't think you can grow pineapple plants in zone 5B in the northern climates, think again. I have successfully done it and they have been repotted three times. They grow very well in containers, so it can be done. It would be very exciting to see if I can produce pineapples, but I would definitely be bringing you along and letting you know what my results are. So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.